Hey folks, how you doing? Bayou Golf in the house, out of the rain. Yep, we're getting pounded. It's going to be that way for the rest of the week. So I was just thinking, why don't we spend this time learning about a little history about the game we love so much, the game of golf. So today, in the next two days, I'll be bringing to you a three-part series on just that. Today, we're going to talk about the origin of golf. The next couple of days, we're going to talk about the equipment, the courses, and where the game is heading. For instance, did you know the first recording of a game with a stick, a leather ball, a target hundreds of yards away, a starting point, and a scoring system called Strokes was in a town of Lyon de Vic, February 27th, 1297, by the Dutch. That's right, the Dutch in the Netherlands, okay? They actually spelled it C-O-L-F. Well, the game became so popular that in 1360, they had to come down with a ruling which said, we met Koval Tolf is on Twitch set off up here over state click, which recorded, which, excuse me, which translates to, he who plays a golf pays a fine of 20 shillings or his overcoat will be confiscated. Now think about that. I'm pretty sure 20 shillings was pretty high back then, but to lose your overcoat in the winter in Holland, Netherlands, that's a pretty heavy fine. Now in 1387, the game became so popular and everybody was playing it inside the walls, they called the walls of the city, and betting has started up. Now there's a lot of the local towns, people didn't like the betting, and they really didn't care about the game of golf because it was destroying the town. I mean, there was recordings of windows and horses being damaged, people being damaged. So they had to bring down another law, which states, De bon metier covent te slain botin de vest, which translates to play the ball with a club outside the town walls where betting will be allowed. So they actually had to have a law to stop the, the destruction of the town. They actually built a field the first field called De Ban, B A E N, Ban, which was translated to the course. All right, now, in 1650, the Dutch came over to the United States and made a settlement in Fort Orange, which is now called Albany, New York. So they brought the game of golf, golf, with them. And they played it year round, winter, spring, summer, fall. They even were playing it on ice ponds. <laughs> but again, they were tearing up the town so much, they had to have another law put into place. Now, I'm not wanting to be thinking, well, what about the Scots? Okay, good point. The first recording of any Scots dealing with the game of well, what they called it, G-O-W-F, golf, was in 1457. And that recording came down from King James II of Scotland, which he said, no more playing of golf because it interrupt with the archery practice. You see, back then, if you were a Scottish citizen, you belonged to the, the National Guard, I guess, who protected him. And he said, oh no, y'all can't learn archery to protect me. It's got to go. So I guess for a little while, it was stopped. But in 1603, the Scots had a little rumble with the, uh, with the uh, British because it was kind of one piece at one time. I think the Scots wanted to separate. But in 1603, James VI of Scotland, they must have won a big battle. They took over England. They took over the, the uh, seat of England. So the game, they brought the game of Scott, uh, the, the game of uh, golf with them, and it started playing it in the, uh, the country. Now remember, Britain once had a lot of colonies worldwide. They ruled the seas, did they not? Oh yeah. So the, Brit the uh, British and the Scottish soldiers, they started carrying it out, the game of golf, wherever they went. For instance, in 1770, in Africa, on the island of Bolts, 
Island and Sierra Leone. The first golf course was built in Africa. It was built actually by the slave traders of England. Now by the 1800s, 1880s, the, 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 uh, the game of golf was spread so much by the British. I mean, it was established in Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, South Africa, and even in Singapore later on in 1891. So there was one good thing about the British selling the world, the game of golf followed them wherever they went. Now, the, actually the first recorded game of golf with 18 holes was in Scotland. So the, so the Dutch, they started it, no really records on how many holes they had, but 18 holes was established in Scotland. Now, for instance, uh, in 1850s, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert in a can, who said that? Anyway, they, they brought the rail system to St. Andrews. Evidently, they're back in charge of England again. Rail system hooking up to St. Andrews. They love their holidays back and forth. Game of golf is traveling. So now the St. Andrews seems to be the new center point of the game of golf in that area. So... A little recap, as far as the uh, United States, 1700s, the game was brought over here to Fort Orange, Albany, New York. They had a little trouble over there playing in the streets. They had a little trouble over here playing in the streets. But it was settled, and the game took off. It's a little, little history with the game of golf. The Dutch, the Scots, the English, and the United States. So, like I said, next two days I'll be bringing you a little bit more if you want to hear it, I'll be here. I hope you are too.